okay hi everyone welcome to another session so in this session basically uh, we will see the internal architecture of our api project so that way whenever you got new assignment for creating any new api if you know the architecture then you can create the respective files accordingly okay so let's say in our product in our api project i wanted to create one more api so what are all classes i need to create what are all classes i need to visit for creating a new api all these things so our internal architecture is very simple okay so i will just show you in a form of diagram so first of all we will have one controller okay any new entity let's say let's take an example of courses then we should have one course controller okay then controller project will only have the logic no logic it is only for handling request and response nothing else no business logic zero business logic we will have at the controller level because whatever uh, changes you uh, requested by user that we will do in the repository and service and controller will only handle the request and response okay any session related thing we can do that in the controller but not business logic or not even database related things okay this is your controller then where we will add the business logic then first of all what is business logic so business logic is any number of statements which are not related to the database and not related to the to the request and response okay so let's take an example i wanted to get the value from the database for student entity but in that object there is first name and last name two different columns now ui person wanted me to return the full name so i will have to write some business logic in order to combine first name and last name to make it full name and return it back to the ui so this kind of code if you want to manipulate the database values before returning the response to the ui this kind of business logic we will add into the services okay and these services are pointed or are added or called from the controller project or we can say tightly coupled with the controller project not tightly coupled but require object of the services class into the controller class okay it is necessary now controller will call the services services will have the business logic i already told you what is business logic now okay so this is for handling request and response this is for handling the business logic services class will not have a single line related to the database communication if you want to communicate with the database good you can talk with the repositories because there might be some apis which does not even uh require any data from the database okay there might be some apis which does not use any data from the database so in that case services will not go to the repositories it will go some some somewhere else i want the data from the xml file which is available on my disk not in the database so i will create another repository for file repositories okay so file repository will help me to get the data from disk hard disk and db repository will help me to get the data from database so we can have any number of classes or reposit uh, repository types in order to get the data from respective place okay as of now we do not have any file repository but we are having a db repository this is your db this is your file okay let's say i don't want to date, get the data from database not even from the file i want the data from cloud storage somewhere else from third party apis third party apis okay so this is your let's a cloud now let's take an example 
you are working with the travel management system bus management system okay there are lot of travels okay and there are lot of client applications as well you can book the travel ticket from paytm from phone pay from any other uh, this kind of application right but they are having a centralized database if i book the ticket of bus number 1 seat number 2 from the phone pay then that will get reserved and in your paytm application also you will see that that ticket is now reserved you cannot book that anymore because they are not pointing to their own database they are not pointing to their own file database or file repository they are pointing to third party apis which is on cloud and which is the centralized place for all these kind of applications so that's why we can have date we can get the data from database either on file or there are any third party apis but this service class does not impact on that should not have any impact on because of the db technology because service class only has the business logic i want data you can bring it from anywhere i don't care about it okay so that's the reason we have split the service layer and repository layer okay so controller is not worry about all these things you can do anything i want to return something give me that got it now we can have some database these repositories can point to the database this file servers will point to the disk and this will point to the cloud got it so this is the internal structure of our api if you have this design for your api project it is scalable how scalable because right now let me mark it red okay where is that color this one whatever i have marked in a red we do not have these kind of things in our project as of now we are only using controller service repositories which is pointing to our database okay but still we can scale our project like this we can still add some more repositories which will point to the files storage okay this is your file storage this is your cloud okay so we can still uh, scale our project to use start using the file storage we can still scale our project to start using the third party apis without affecting the existing functionality okay so this is our internal architecture of our project so if you want to create a new api then you will have to create one controller that controller should have an dependency of your service service should have an dependency of your repository repository should have an dependency of have a dependency of your database okay so if it is database repository then you will have the dependency of your database if it is file repository you will have an dependency of your file storage if you, if it is third party api you will have the dependency of your cloud project third party api project okay as of now forget about this four keep in mind you will get you will have to go to this four layers for this four layer we are having four different project if you see the architecture here we are having four different one two three four api project for controller service project for service dao project for repository common is for common across this all three and inside the dao only we are having the database okay this one we can split that whenever you want to introduce these two layers we can split our dao project to only have the repository in it we can have database project separately we can have file storage project separately we can have cloud project separately okay so this is our internal architecture of our project i will show you here quickly so let's say i want to create a new uh, course api then controller will be there then create method will be there inside the core service but that core service if you want through the dependency injection you will require one interface so that's why i have created this interface and i have implemented this interface inside the core service this is the implementation 
Okay, there is some business logic. Convert your request object to database objects. Re business logic I have implemented in the service class. Okay, then I will have to create the entity in the database. So that's why course repository. And we need one interface here because of because of dependency injection because I wanted to create the course repository object and inject that into the constructor of your service. If you see the service class here, there should be one repository object injected into the constructor. This one. If you want to get an object of repository here, you will need the interface. Why need interface? Because this interface I will use while creating the dependency injection in the program.cs file. You can see interface and then class name. So every class name has the interface name. So because of this, I will get an instance of I repository into the service class here. Okay. Now I need to implement this somewhere. So I have implemented this into the course repository of this class. And in the course repository class, I have implemented this create method. Okay. So this create method will actually use the database query in the form of Lambda expression. And then we'll return the result. You can return it from me. We are in the database layer now here. I wanted to return to the repository. So go back. This is your repository. I wanted to go back to the service. So go back. This is your service. I wanted to go back to the controller. Go back. It is your controller. This one. So DB repo service controller controller service repo DB. After DB there is nothing. Go back from here. Okay. Same thing we have implemented. Let me stop the recording.